New. Welcome back guys to another video of Island Gaming with G. Today let's talk about some of Microsoft Game Pass critics. But before we do that, don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. Now, as most of you all know, um, Game Pass came out in 2017 and Game Pass is a Netflix-like uh, service that is providing uh, games, quality games to anyone who is willing to pay $10 to $15 a month. Now, a lot of industry veterans said that this model will never work. Microsoft will be losing a lot of money um, for years and um, before they get any profit from this service. And because of these industry vets saying that a lot of you know, uh, Sony fans came on the jump onto the bandwagon and say that this is not, um, you know, this is Microsoft will never uh, last with this type of model. They will get out of uh, being in the hardware business and they will go strictly to SOFA. But we are seeing some news being released today by Brazil to say that says something else about how Game Pass is doing and how the future is looking very bright for Game Pass. But before we look at that story, let's remind ourselves of what, how some of these Sony fans with their logic started off strong like this singer here. But ended up falling to the ground. <laughs> so the first tweet we have was from Street Fighter 6. He was basically commenting on a video saying that Game Pass would eventually fail if they don't have exclusives. Now I can understand this argument. However, um, this argument was laid to rest seeing how Game Pass did so well last year and this year. Let's look at another tweet. And then we had this guy here, Terraflop797, who don't really have any argument. He just commented that Game Pass will fail. He have Charlton there doing his little Charlton dance. Um, and then we had this guy. And then we had this guy here, Dual Sense Dude. He was basically saying that Game Pass will fail because of persons taking advantage of that $1 for three months. And so they will take advantage of these systems. So Game Pass would eventually fail. So you might be saying, these guys know um, nothing. They are not in the industry. They are just um, chair developers or um, chair critics. Let's see what an actual uh, uh, somebody in the industry said about Game Pass. Who could remember Sean Layden and what he said last year about Game Pass? Former PlayStation executive questioned the Xbox Game Pass model. Sean Layden is skeptical of its sustainability and its potential to expand the console market. Former PlayStation executive Sean Layden has questioned the long-term prospects of Xbox Game Pass business. Yes, so Sean Layden had no faith in the Xbox Game Pass model. And uh, as he should, because he being a former PlayStation executive, I don't think he would be praising um, Microsoft. But this is the same type of thinking that got him fired um, because he did not take into consideration that Game Pass would be on portables, on TVs, on PC. He did not take into consideration that the market can open up when we incorporate these devices. That brings us to today's news. Xbox gave us a glimpse of how much money they would have actually made um, on Game Pass in 2021 and you'll be surprised as to how much money they made. According to the Brazil regulators, Xbox Game Pass revenue from subscription stands at $2.9 billion, basically $3 billion in the financial period ending January 2021. Tweetong noted that it's, it accounts for 18% of Microsoft revenue from gaming for the financial or for the fiscal year which would have put xbox game pass subscription at around the 18 to 19 million mark the last official figure we got for xbox game pass subscription came last january uh, where uh, it was about 25 million subscribers so microsoft made 2.9 billion dollars in, in their 
for their Game Pass subscriptions. Now, that was when it was 19, 18 to 19 million subscribers. That is extremely profitable. Um, and it really shows that, you know, some of these guys who think they know about the industry really knows nothing at all. Even some of the industry veteran cannot understand the type of model Microsoft is going here and how they are successful. So, do you think that Microsoft could keep the ball rolling with the Activision deal and with more third-party deals? What do you think about it? Let me know in the comment sections below. One thing is for sure, Microsoft is killing it with Game Pass. They are killing it so much that I can hear that song one more time. Yeah! 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 <laughs> like and subscribe for more videos later. <laughs>